Hello and welcome to this new OpenCDA Builder video. In this one, we will show you how to connect it to OpenEMR. Just remember what is OpenCDA Builder. It's a tool which main goal is transform your current clinical records and documents to HL7 conformance clinical documents and doing it in a way that with has less impact to your current information systems. Uh, how does it work? When a document is persisted to your information systems, it, uh, the service bus detects this and sends a request to CDA Builder in order to transform your current, current report to an HL7 report, then it's returned to the bus and finally could be persisted in a repository. On which tool is based? It's mainly based on OpenESB as a so good enterprise service bus for healthcare, but we are also using tools like Ogisen for working with XML, DB Visualizer for extracting information, and we are working on a unique uh, Clips Core Branch tool to integrate all these tools. How to see on a stage? What we see in this video, we connect it to OpenEMR. What is OpenEMR? OpenEMR is one of the more used free and open source electronic medical records. It's a certified tool and it's installed over more than 15,000 uh, healthcare facilities around the world. I re strongly recommend you to take a look uh, on their websites. Before taking a look on the presentation, uh, let's remember how is the structure information on clinical documents. We have the basic clinical documents, which includes a PDF, has uh, a header with effective time and codes files, which are encoded files, and then an unstructured body, which includes a PDF normally codified in base64. Then we have a second level with, where we have the same header with the same elements or more elements, but the difference is that the body is a structure. It's a structure in sections, and each section has its own text. And the final and top level has the same, but adds entries. Entries are codifying section text information in a way that can be processable by machines. So to see it in action, what we will see is how to transform OpenEMR SOAP node, OpenEMR imported PDF documents, and OpenEMR encounter and patient history to its corresponding HL7 clinical document. So we have deployed an OpenEMR installation where we can log it using test physician. By default, we will see the physician calendar. We remove the bottom view. But we also can find patients, and we have already introduced a CDA demo sample patient. When we select it, uh, here we can see patient healthcare history with his current medical problems, with di diabetes, with allergies, with current medication, with immunizations. Take a look at this because we will see later on a continuity of care document. Yes, we also can see uh, its current and history vital things. We will find we on the top there is also an encounter history. We will select a pre-registered encounter where we have also vital things. Here is important. Here we have a SOAP uh, node with an assessment, an objective, a subjective, a plan of care. We will transform all this information to an HL7 consultation node. Yes. And also there's a so interesting feature with where you can import documents, PDF documents. So here what we have done on the lab report, there is an, an IHE lab report in a PDF way. So we will see later this document as an HL7 unstructured document. So for connecting APMR to CDA Builder, what we have done is we, we develop a so simple HTML web page where, for example, if you want to generate a consultation note, you just enter the encounter ID, you ask for generate, and here you get the consultation note. I have collapsed all elements so you can see header uh, elements where, for example, you see the, the component, you see information about the encompassing uh, uh, encounter, but we can also see information about the body where there is the the text organized in component sections. There's another option where we can ask for transformation of a document. We remember the PDF document. If, if we ask to generate, 
then we get here the clinical document so we can see also all the header elements but there is also a body element which has a non-XML body where a base64 application PDF is uh, embedded finally there is the continue to have care of document where you register information not just from one encounter but also information about all the patient about allergies uh, current medication and problems so we ask for also for an encounter but not for generating just the consultation note we will generate information for uh, normally for a discharge so we ask here here we have the PDAI, the HL7 clinical document and we have also the header elements but if we take a look at the body we see how body is also structured with components each component has a section but if we take a look the main difference is here we have patient current medication but not just section tests and we also have entries that codifies information that is uh, introduced in a narrative way what we will do now is persist save these uh, documents in order that we can later take a look on them on a GGEN and validate against HL7 schema and apply transformations if you want you I included here a QR code for these encounters IDs and documents ID if you want to see how easy is to download on your mobile phone with a QR reader this HL server clinical documents so once we have the documents we have to validate them in order to ensure white conformance we will validate against the standard schema also we select a so interesting implementation guide which is a CDA consolidation between HL7, IHE and HITSP uh, which will allow us to have a wide understanding of our document I include you the QR code because you can have additional information this is so interesting and finally we will apply this implementation guide in style sheet in order to display our documents on a web browser so to validate these documents we open all of them is on Ogigen. here you can see the consultation note with just section text the PDF report with uh, base64 encoded and the continuity of care document with text and entries what we have done to validate is we go to documents validate and we have set up a configuration scenario which validates to the standard schema and also the huge uh, schematron for consolidation so we apply these scenarios we ask only to show errors and we see that we have a valid document at, at the bottom we would do the same for the other type of documents we all know we will see that all of them are valid documents so this is to ensure a wide conformance of of our documents finally what we will do is to apply style sheet and here we can see our documents on a web browser so here is for remember on open EMR the sub report with the assessment the plan of care and the reason for the visit also we can take a look at the PDF report here we have the PDF report Remom remember this is the PDF report the document we see we have seen on on open EMR and finally the more white document this is the continuity of care document with a lot of sections for reason not just for the encounter and also have a bit of things and a problem for example patient allergies and immunization so a so complex and complete uh, document so could be that you are now thinking about which is the hardware required to running all of this but as you can see we have only set up the basic Rackspace cloud server with the lower flavor with only 2 gigabytes and here is included open EMR, open EMR database, open C CDA builder so it's a low footprint tool that can run in a scalable way so don't forget that this is only just one piece of uh, open CDA project which main goal is to share patient healthcare information in a secure way and with patient authorization in a cloud and a controlled environment in order to achieve uh, healthcare goals for a common repository and to share a unique view of, uh, of for a patient 
So I hope that you find this presentation so interesting. If you want more information, if you want an in-office presentation or a team viewer presentation, please send us a message. So thank you.